Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So first of all, just simply log in with your credentials and once you're done with that, just simply come back over here, click on the checkbox and then click on agree and continue. Now just simply wait and just simply activate your cloud shell. It will take a couple of seconds, so just simply wait for that. And now click on continue. Now just simply come back to the live instructions and click on the setups and requirement. Now just simply scroll down and from here what you do, you have to just simply copy this setup and region command. So just simply copy like this, come back over here, click on this got it. Now just simply wait, now paste the command, hit enter. Wait for a second and then just simply click on this authorize button. Now again come back over here, scroll down, then copy this second command, copy like this, come back over here, paste, hit enter. Now copy this third command, copy like this, come back over here, wait for a second and done now run the third command over here now again come back over here now we are in the task number one now i request to please watch the video carefully first of all just simply copy this command come back over here paste hit enter like this way now again just simply scroll down then copy this command now i request to please watch the video carefully copy like this come back over here paste hit enter wait for a second now here you can see enter a password for your db admin okay so for that what you do come back to the lab instructions and from here just simply copy this password copy like this come back over here paste hit enter like this way now what it asking it asking for enter a password for your student id so for that what you do you have to copy this password so just simply copy like this come back over here paste hit enter and it's done now you have to just simply wait for this command get execute and make sure that your laptop will not go for a sleep otherwise you might face unnecessary error so just simply make sure of that thing
and it's finally done now just simply come back to the lab instructions so we have done with this command now just simply scroll down then copy the point number four command copy like this come back over here paste hit enter then copy the point number five command copy like this come back over here paste hit enter wait for a second and it's done now as of now we have to just simply perform all these commands now if we just simply scroll down and click on the check my progress you will get a score without any issue and if the score is not updated no need to worry just simply wait for a couple of seconds and you will get a green tick over here for sure and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys